the European Space Agency released the data from uh, uh, ExoMars uh, camera uh, on one of its uh, orbiters of Mars, and uh, it looks like uh, they detected the, uh, the interstellar visitor, 3 Iapetus. On October 3rd, 2025, five of the most expensive cameras ever built were all aimed at the same target near Mars. But you won't believe what they sent back, absolutely nothing. The object, known as 3I Atlas, came from interstellar space, a true alien in our solar system. And while every space agency on Earth capable of watching it did, none of them have released a single pixel of data. The most shocking fact is that our only clue is a bizarre cylinder-shaped smudge captured by a ground rover, an image that some say points to an industrial origin. Five silent spies. The story begins not with a bang, but with a bizarre and total silence. On October 1st, 2025, the European Space Agency made a public announcement that got space enthusiasts everywhere buzzing. Their Mars Express and Trace Gas Orbiter spacecraft would be observing an interstellar object named 3I Atlas during its closest pass to Mars. This wasn't some leak or a rumor, it was an official statement. You see, this was a huge deal. At the same time, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the UAE's Hope Probe, and China's Tianwen-1 were all in perfect position, their high-tech eyes ready to turn toward the same target. That's five spacecraft, a multi-billion dollar array of humanity's finest hardware, all set for our best ever look at an object from beyond our own solar system. The cosmic alignment was perfect. And then, something incredibly strange happened. Nothing. Absolute silence. There were no triumphant press releases, no jaw-dropping images of an alien comet, no massive data drops for scientists to pore over. The thing nobody tells you is that a coordinated blackout like this is unheard of. The only thing that slipped through the cracks was a single blurry stack of 20 rover frames, first processed by an astrophotographer named Simeon Schmaus and later shared on X by the popular cosmologist Stefan Burns. That one questionable smudge became the only visual evidence the public was allowed to see. Meanwhile, China, a country that usually floods the internet with thousands of Mars images to celebrate its every achievement, said nothing. Not a single word, not one pixel. For a nation that is crazy about showing the world its power, that silence was, to put it mildly, deafening. What makes this even weirder is the information that leaked from a different telescope. The most shocking fact comes from the James Webb Space Telescope. Its spectroscopy data showed something that scientists are calling orders of magnitude more consistent with industrial origin than natural formation. The reason. It detected nickel without iron, a chemical signature that just doesn't happen in nature. What many overlooked in the chaos was this bombshell piece of data suggesting this wasn't just any space rock. This story is about unraveling that mystery. We'll cover the viral discovery and the information blackout, then explore the wild scientific and political fallout. What truly kicked off the public frenzy was a single post on X from an account called 3i Atlas underscore anomaly. The words were simple. The silence from China is deafening. Within minutes, the post exploded. On October 3rd, 3i Atlas passed within approximately 29 million kilometers or 18 million miles of Mars. In space terms, that's a front row seat. We were promised a flood of data from different angles, allowing us to build a 3D model of this visitor. We expected to see its shape, its rotation, what it was made of. Instead, we got a wall of silence from every agency, NASA, ESA, China, the UAE, all of them. It's like they all saw the same thing and agreed behind closed doors not to talk about it. Why would every space agency hide what they saw? The answer might be in the single blurry image they couldn't stop. Trick of light or alien tech. At first glance, the image looks like nothing special. It's just another grainy picture from a rover camera pointed at the alien sky of Mars. But then after some clever processing, you see it. An elongated glowing shape stretching faintly across the Martian atmosphere like a scratch on an old photograph. This is the image that broke out of containment. It's the single piece of visual evidence that escaped the data blackout and spread across the internet like wildfire. 
The photo comes from NASA's Perseverance rover, specifically its MassCam Z instrument, which is designed to look at rocks and soil, not fast-moving objects in the sky. As always, the raw image files appeared on NASA's public servers. What happened next was citizen science in action. A German data analyst named Simeon Schmaus downloaded multiple frames, stacked them to reduce the noise, and cranked up the contrast. The result was the elongated smudge that now defines the Three-Eye Atlas mystery. So what are we really looking at? The boring explanation is actually pretty simple. When a camera takes pictures of a moving dot of light over several frames and you then stack those frames, the motion creates a streak. Imagine taking a long exposure photo of a plane at night. You get a line of light, not a dot. The MassCam Z was never made for this. Its settings are all wrong for tracking a fast moving object which guarantees a smeared image. But not all things are what they seem. Many people online seeing this shape immediately jump to one conclusion. It's a cylinder, a machine. Some enhanced versions even show a green tint and crisp edges, suggesting something metallic and structured. This interpretation persists for one simple reason. This grainy, contested smudge is the only image the public has. The silence from the orbital spacecraft, with their powerful high-resolution cameras, created a vacuum. And in that vacuum, the human mind, which is wired to see patterns, looked at a blurry line and saw a spaceship. Even the famous Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb mentioned the image, calling it a smudge but acknowledging its central role in the public debate. Compare this to the Hubble image of 3i Atlas from July. That picture showed a classic comet, a bright center with a fuzzy cloud of gas and dust around it. It looked natural. The Perseverance smudge looks anything but. The most shocking fact is that the debate is happening at all. If the orbiters had just released their pictures, this would be over. Instead, their silence fans the flames, making that blurry smudge feel more and more important. The cylinder in the Martian sky became a meme, a symbol for a massive government cover-up. And through it all, the space agency said nothing, letting the smudge do all the talking. This single, poor quality image has shaped the entire story, but what about the high-tech eyes that should have given us the truth? Built to see, ordered to hide. On October 3, 2025, five separate, incredibly advanced platforms were orbiting Mars. Each one was a marvel of engineering worth hundreds of millions of dollars, and each was perfectly positioned to get a look at 3i Atlas. First, there's NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO. In orbit since 2006, it carries the high-rise camera, a beast of an instrument that can see objects the size of a dinner table on the Martian surface from hundreds of miles up. Then you have the European Space Agency's duo, Mars Express, a veteran craft with high-resolution cameras, and the Trace Gas Orbiter designed to analyze the atmosphere and take stunningly detailed photos. The United Arab Emirates Hope Orbiter, the first interplanetary mission from an Arab nation, was also there, its cameras ready. And then there's the big one, China's Tianwen-1. This mission, which arrived in 2021, has both an orbiter and a rover, equipped with a whole suite of instruments. What many overlooked is the sheer power of this combined fleet. We're talking about dozens of cameras, spectrometers, and sensors, all operated by hundreds of the world's best scientists and engineers. This wasn't a secret mission. The ESA publicly stated they would be watching 3i Atlas between October 1st and October 7th. This was supposed to be a shining example of international scientific cooperation. The closest approach happened on October 3rd, when the object was just 18 million miles from Mars. At that range, these instruments should have captured breathtaking detail. They could have measured its rotation, analyzed the gases in its coma, and given us a crystal clear image of its nucleus. The process for this is routine. Data gets beamed back to Earth and raw images often appear on public servers within a few days. Transparency isn't just a policy. It's baked into the funding for these public agencies. So, where are the pictures? The public record consists of one thing, the blurry, community-processed images from the Perseverance rover. The orbital platforms, the ones that were supposed to give us the real answers, have given us nothing. Let's be fair and consider the mundane explanations. 
You see, space is hard. Maybe the pointing systems failed. Maybe the object was too dim. Maybe sunlight from Mars washed out the images. It's possible that through an incredible stroke of bad luck, every single one of these five advanced spacecraft failed to get a usable picture. Possible, but extremely unlikely. Another possibility is a simple data backlog. Raw images need a lot of processing and maybe they're just stuck in a queue. But again, for a total blackout across five separate agencies, that stretches belief. The information gap here is staggering. Somewhere on servers in the US, Europe, the UAE, and China, the real images almost certainly exist. The question is, why are we being shown a smudge from a ground rover instead of the crystal clear photos from orbit? The coordinated silence is strange, but the quiet coming from one country in particular is the most alarming clue of all. A superpower's strange silence. For a nation obsessed with projecting strength and technological superiority, China's silence on 3i Atlas may be the loudest signal of all. The China National Space Administration, or CNSA, is not known for being shy. Since their Tianwen-1 mission successfully entered Mars orbit in 2021, it has been a public relations triumph. The CNSA has carefully managed a constant stream of images and data releases, all designed to show the world that China is a top-tier spacefaring superpower. We've seen thousands of images, stunning panoramas from the Zhurong rover, orbital maps, and detailed close-ups of Martian geology. Each release is a political statement, proof of Chinese innovation and leadership. The thing nobody tells you is that space exploration today is all about national prestige. And in that race for prestige, China has been running a marathon at a sprinter's pace, determined to prove its system can outperform the West. So when 3i Atlas offered a golden opportunity, the world watched to see what China would do. Tianwen-1 had a front row seat. Beijing had the chance to publish the first and best images of an interstellar object ever seen from another planet, a massive win that would have dominated global headlines. What did the CNSA do? Absolutely nothing. To put it mildly, this was bizarre. There was no press conference, no celebratory images in state media, no posts from official social media accounts. The massive, well-oiled propaganda machine that is normally so loud went completely silent. And you can see this everywhere in their strategy. They never miss a chance for a win. What makes this situation so strange is the context. Sure, China's space agency, the CNSA, sometimes delays releasing its data. They've done it before, holding information for weeks or even months. But complete and total silence after a high-profile historic flyby? That's not just unusual. It's a major break from their usual playbook. This wasn't just another day in orbit. This was a moment that should have been celebrated across every Chinese news outlet. Geopolitically, the silence doesn't make much sense. China's space program has always been about more than science. It's a symbol of national pride and soft power. They still remember when India beat them to Mars back in 2014. That stung. So when Tianwen-1 pulled off its remarkable triple success, orbiter, lander, and rover, all in one mission, it was their triumphant comeback. It said loud and clear, China has caught up and maybe even surpassed expectations. So why now would they stay quiet? Why would they let the world's attention drift to a blurry American rover image when they could have stolen the show with a high-resolution masterpiece of their own? Some think the answer lies in what they found. Maybe the data they collected wasn't what they expected. Maybe it was something too strange, too provocative. The kind of thing that would spark wild theories and endless speculation. And if there's one thing a tightly controlled government can't stand, it's losing control of the narrative. Others whisper about international back-channel talks, requests from other space agencies to delay the release while they review the findings together. And of course, there's always the boring explanation, maybe the images were just bad. Maybe the data didn't meet their standards and silence felt safer than embarrassment. Whatever the truth is, it's the silence that speaks the loudest. When a nation that usually broadcasts its every achievement suddenly goes quiet, you can't help but wonder, what did they see out there that made them stop talking? So what do you think they saw? Is this a case of simple bureaucracy or are we looking at a coordinated global cover-up of something extraordinary? Let us know your theory in the comments. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the universe's biggest mysteries.